Good morning, church family. It's so good to be together with you again this morning to come to God's word and to hear what Jesus has to teach us. Now, usually I start the morning by showing you something like this, an object lesson that helps us think about our story. But today in our story, Jesus is the one who has object lessons and he has two for us. One is going to be this thing. Do you see what that is? That is salt. Maybe you have some in a different kind of container. Maybe yours looks a little bit different. But in Jesus' time, salt was very different. First of all, it wasn't just used to put on food. It was actually used to disinfect things and to clean things and also to heal things. So for example, if you got a cut on your hand and you wanted to clean and disinfect and heal the cut, you might use a little bit of salt water. They also used salt to heal things like respiratory disorders or breathing problems. Salt was very, very valuable because it could clean and heal things. Now, the other way that salt was different during Jesus' day was that salt wasn't always pure salt. They couldn't always tell if the salt was pure because it didn't come from a store. Sometimes it had other things mixed into it, things that made it not work as well, or sometimes things that made it taste bad or things that made it smell bad. They couldn't always tell exactly what they were getting when they had salt. So they had to be careful that when they wanted to use salt to heal or to clean, that it was pure salt. The other thing that Jesus is going to tell us about is light. And I have this candle. Of course, in his time, they did not have electric lights. They couldn't just switch on a light and light shone down on them. Instead, they would have to light candles or lamps like this and then they would put that flame in a candle holder or a lamp stand like this one. See that? That lifts the light up so that it doesn't burn anything and so that it can shine out into the darkness. Salt and light. Let's see what Jesus has to say about these things today. When Jesus saw that lots of people were listening to his teaching, he climbed a hillside and his friends climbed with him. Finding a quiet spot, he began to teach. First, he taught people about who would be blessed in the kingdom of God. Then he said, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its strength, it's not good for anything. It will be thrown out and people will walk on it. You are the light of the world, a city built on a hill it's easy for everyone to see a city like that, even from far away. In the same way, people don't light a lamp and then put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Father in heaven. God doesn't want you to fight or to be angry with one another. If you are angry with someone, go to them and make peace. God does not want you to take what is not yours or to say things that aren't true. Be forgiving and love everyone, even people who hurt you. Be generous and kind to everyone, but don't do it just to show off. Always remember that your Father in Heaven is perfect and that you are His child. Jesus went on to teach many other things. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. John 8, 12 
When Jesus says he wants us to be like salt and light in the world, he means he wants us to bring his hope and healing out into the broken world. And then he gives us some really good ideas about how to do just that. The more we know about Jesus, the more we know how we can be like him, bringing salt and light into the broken world. Today, to help us remember that, I have a very special craft to show you. It's a little candle holder that uses salt as a decoration. Let me show you how I made it. You'll need a little bit of glue mixed together with water and some kind of a brush. You'll also need some salt and some tissue paper cut into squares. I'm using coarse salt, but you can use regular table salt. Also, you'll need a small jar or candle holder. This actually used to be a jelly jar from Ikea. Begin by brushing the glue onto the glass and then carefully stick the pieces of tissue paper onto the glue. When you've covered the entire candle holder, brush it one more time with glue just to get it really sticky. Last, you will roll the candle holder in the salt, making sure it sticks on firmly. When you're done, you can put a small votive candle inside and see how beautiful the salt looks when the light shines through it. Using lots of glue will really help that salt stick on there. And then what you can do is put a small candle inside and light that. That might be a good thing for you to do when you have your bedtime prayer. You can think about salt and light. Let's pray together. Father God, we are so thankful that Jesus shows us the way that we can bring his hope and healing into the world. Father God, help us to be salt and light in this world this week. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, CPC friends, I miss you guys. I hope that you have some time to get out into the sunshine today. I will see you guys later. Bye.